Today, I am going to be discussing the differences that can we have in between power transformer and distribution transformer. These names are very common in power system or the study of power system itself. We are going to analyze the differences between these two type of transformers. I am not going to be getting into such details, but these points are very specific and you have to know this to answer different kinds of questions from this topic. First, as you can see, I have made a chart here, comparative analysis chart that you can say. The first point that I have taken, that I have chosen, chosen, that is the type of the transformer. What type of transformer is power transformer? Means, power transformers are being used in the transmission part mainly. So, the transmission part generally introduces the step up phenomena of the transformer action. Power transformers are basically of step up type because in case of transmission the voltage has to be high, they have to be high to reduce the transmission losses. In case of distribution transformer we are having those things at our disposal from where our surrounding our homes are getting connected so that has to be stepping down the higher voltages so we can be able to get that voltage to our residential level. So that is distribution transformer is of step down nature mostly. Okay. Now about the voltage levels. Generally, the transmission is being dealt with high amount of voltage levels. When, whereas that is uh, in case of distribution transformer at our surroundings, they are of very low level. Okay. The voltage in case of power transformer is high, and uh, the distribution transformer is low. The power rating. As we are seeing that transmission is there and from the distribution center the load is getting divided into separate parts. So a single transformer is not valid for the dealing with the total amount of loads. That is why the power reading of distribution transformer can be of very less amount. But in case of transmission part, there is a single transformer in the generating part or the transmission part that we are having to step up the total voltage in the alley. So that handles a lot of power. That is why we need the power rating of the transformer which is at the transmission end to be a lot higher. Generally, in case of power rating that we are having, that is more than, it is more than 200 MPa. This is a very high rating of power. And uh, for, for distribution transformer, it is less than 200 MPa. It doesn't cross that 200 MPa limit. Okay. Now about the efficiency. As we know that in case of a transmission part, the whole setup is being running for a continuous load itself. So the loading effect it doesn't change with respect to time that much. That is why in case of these power transformers, we have to make the transformer very efficient enough. So that is around 97 to 100% for this case of power transformers. Generally, they are being made like that. And in case of distribution transformer, optimum efficiency level is not that much higher because the load is continuously changing for different scenario that we are having at the end of the distribution itself. So that is why it is approximately 70 to 75% of efficiency. Okay. Now about the size that we are having, uh, power transformer is dealing with high amount of power, so that size has to be more. Okay, that is uh, that size is more in this case, and in case of distribution transformer, the size is less. That is, it will be of a shorter uh, cross section and shorter uh, dimensions itself. Okay, now the loss. Losses in case of a tra power transformer, in it is the current ratings and all the things are continuous in nature. It is not altering itself. The losses, the things that is inside that, they are constant more or less. Means we are having a constant value of losses throughout the life of the transformer itself. But in case of distribution transformer, we can have different variable losses in terms of current and load that are being connected. Those are being connected to the distribution transformer. So this is not very constant, it will be variable itself. Now about the winding connection. What we know, uh, in case of distribution, the locality 
we need the ground connection itself. So a physical ground, if it is present, then it will be very much easier for us to actually connect different loads there. But in case of transmission, we just need the power to flow from the generating part to the distribution part. So we don't need any ground connection there. And if a ground connection is present, then the costing is also higher. And high voltage is being transmitted through the transmission lines. So a single ground line can cost a lot to the company itself. So, in case of winding connection, power transformers are generally primary side star connected and secondary side is delta connected. But in case of distribution transformers, as we require the physical ground itself, we need the primary connection to be delta and the secondary connection to be star. This is the general part, but in some special cases, these connections can be altered and changed also. So, it depends upon the specific applications. So this is it. These are the very specific differences between power transformer and distribution transformer. If you go through this and if you can just study this, you will be able to understand these things more carefully and it will help you in different exams also. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you are getting interested with me, if you are having fun like seeing this kind of videos then please subscribe my channel it will help you for your further studies thank you